Hi, this is a follow-on from the previous video. Uh, this is the um, the rhythm uh, that I created from uh, using random MIDI uh, patterns. Um, what I wanted to do now is to uh, extend this, extend the video, and show how to incorporate this uh, ideas uh, idea um, into Reaper. So what I have done. I, um, I I saved it uh, in projects. I, I just did a, a new folder, called it uh, MIDI testing, and created the folder. So what? So now that it's saved, and uh, the idea, the two ideas, the patterns are still within machine. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to open Reaper. And now I'm going to open Machina to go down to Virtual Instrument or New Track. Go to Machina 2, open. It's going to ask you if you want to create separate tracks and say no. Uh, I'm going to make, let's see, I'm going to make the view medium and then I'm gonna open the project and there we have the two patterns and they play I have to go to Reaper now because it's playing through Reaper And as you see, it's only coming through one track. And the idea is to root each of these instruments, each of these sounds, into their own tracks. So we can mix them and edit them, edit them the way we want to. So what we do have to do next is go to Mixer. Uh, first of all, we, we see how many tracks there are. So there's 16 on pattern 1. And there is six, no, uh, there are 12 on pattern two. Yeah, 12 on pattern two. Um, so we go to mixer, and this is the long and sometimes tedious parts you have to root each of these tracks and give them uh, a number which would correspond to the tracks which are going to be in Reaper so first of all you go to this arrow below the arrow there's a like a, a one and a zero symbol and you click that and then you go to MIDI in and you uh, select host and then you go down to group and you you go one extension one and you do the same for each track that that would be extension two host extension three now i'm going to do the rest of them and i'll get back to you right so i've done them all so we have all of them a host and each um, track has got extension 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 16. Um, and then, just for the sake of the video, uh, we're going to put them into Reaper now. So, what you do is, once they're rooted, you go up to Machina here, and then you right click. And you go down to build multi-channel routing for output of selected effects and you click that. Now it asks you do you want these tracks to be routed to separate tracks here and you say yes. And there you have it. And that should work now. So if you close this for the time being 
and if we play And as you can see, the instruments are playing on their own individual tracks. It's actually created 17 because this is sort of like the master parent, so there's actually, there's nothing on one really well. There's a signal going in, but that's why there's 17, not 16. So this is the first one really. So what we can do is highlight all of these. We can give them a colour. For example, this one. Oh, and you can edit, you can turn the volume down when they're highlighted so you can get a so it's not distorting. And then you just click, click take it out. So what we're gonna do next is uh, bring in group B. So we go back up to the top and we go effects and then we go to group B and we do the same again and uh, again we've got to make sure this is clicked and you go to MIDI in and then you go to host and then you go because that was you start again you go one and you go two and you put that to host as well, not to host, and then to three, and I'll get back to you. So there we have it. There's the uh, the tracks rooted uh, of group B. They're rooted to one to sixteen. And now the process is the same. You go up and then you right click on Machina and choose Build Multi-Channel Routing for Output of Selected Tracks. Click that. It'll ask you again, do you want the tracks? And you say, yes. Now that's put them, and then you can close this down, and that's put them before the other tracks. But it doesn't matter really, group A, group B. And again, you can, uh, if we play, if we play them, They're playing in individual tracks, which you can edit. You can, if I highlight, and choose a color, and there we have the two different groups: Group B, the Group A, and Group B. And then we can turn everything down a bit. And then you can pan, you can pan the individual instruments one with the other, add effects, uh, do, do the things you would normally do in your DAW, um, and that's it.